back to Lessons Learned. I'm Sherry. This is Finish It Friday, where you see what I've finished and what you have finished. Behind me on the wall, this is not a finish. This is the bridal bouquet, nosegay, antique quilt. I just put that up there because I didn't really have anything I wanted to put on the board to show you. I have things to show you that I finished, but... You will see those here in a minute, but nothing that I wanted to actually stick to the board. And I didn't want to just have a plain white board behind me. That would be boring, wouldn't it? So you can gaze upon the nose gaze or bridal bouquets, whatever you want to call it. It's, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? There is a pretty bad stain right here and that's not going to come out, but it's okay. It's okay. It is a vintage quilt, so you can expect such things. And, uh... There you have it. So I think it's interesting how, uh, you know, this part of the block is consistent across the rows. And that kind of uh, gives you a certain effect, doesn't it? Especially these light ones, kind of puts a lighter row through there to kind of break it up some. I have turned on the air conditioning. It is getting warm around here. And so if you hear something blowing, that's the air conditioner. And I've been running around and I am hot. <laughs> I think it's about 80-ish today, but it's, it's a warm 80-ish. It's not as humid as it was uh, the last couple of days, but uh, it's, it's getting warm and that's okay. I love the sunshine. Okay, so let's get into what I've been into and then I've got a ton, a ton of Blue's Boutique blocks to go through. So I'm going to hurry here. Okay, so you saw the other week that I did this Floral Harmony quilt kit. This is my finished quilt top. And I took the leftovers that I cut off and made a pillow. And I just made uh, just a scrappy blocks out of this fabric. And I put, I had four of these purple pieces left and I stuck those in the corner and yes I put yellow on the back I don't know why I just did I probably should have done white but it just pained me th to think about putting white on the back of a pillow for some reason I don't know I just thought it would get it would get dirty whenever it gets to wherever it's going I just did kind of a wave pattern across that on my sit down machine. I didn't want to deal with something this small on the long arm. So I just did that. It's fine. I love it. It's, it's great. Um, I want to put right up here in a box somewhere, the name of the person again, that won the floral harmony quilt kit, the extra kit that I got that was for a giveaway. I have not heard from that person. So if this is you, please contact me soon so I can get your quilt kit out to you. The seam gauge has been claimed and that is gone. So I was happy about that. Okay, what else? Wednesday's video. Wednesday's video, I did this improv stuff and I did this block and then I did uh, the small cat and you didn't see this at the end of the video. I had it different then and to get it to the 16 inch square i made some changes this is a finished block from part one and i have made one two three four more blocks that i will show you in part two i'm not going to show you today those but they are loads of fun and they don't take much time to make so that will be coming together so that I can have that video for you uh, this coming Wednesday. Speaking of this coming Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to Paducah and uh, Mary the Long Armor Broken Dishes Quilting Company is um, meeting up with me and we are going to Paducah together. So looking forward to that. I'm just going to try my best to get your three videos out next week with me being gone. And I think I can accomplish that. I've got it all planned out up here. Barnstar Sampler. I did Barnstar Sampler. These little beady beady stars. There was four of those. So there's 
two stars and here are two stars this is number 17 uh, of the blocks so these are little four and a half inch stars so they fit in there somewhere uh, I do have I think several of the sections put together and I think I've probably made a mistake on what goes where not size wise but the actual block that they're saying to put I think you know like the eight there's eight inch blocks there's bigger blocks there's medium-sized blocks and I think sometimes I have picked the wrong ones but it doesn't matter nobody's gonna really know nobody will ever know so there's one big section done and then let's see I think I have another section or so here here's some individual blocks these are individual blocks and so are these but I have this big section done I'm not going to be able to show you all the way across this is this, this uh, quilt is so big so big so I don't know if you all saw Ernest barn star sampler he did recently on the Facebook I think I showed it on the channel here too he had gotten it quilted and all finished and he's someone has already purchased that from his Etsy shop so go check out his other listings there on Etsy you might see a quilt there of his that you may want to purchase um is that it is that it the romper that jeans romper I got it done I got the pants hemmed and I got the headband using the vintage quilt pieces I got that all done she's picking that up I won't show you that um, you've seen what I was going to do on that so let's see let me go to the boutique blocks and then we'll go to the email Trying to think if there was anything else I sewed on this week. I don't think so. I interrupt this regularly scheduled program to show you another finish. <laughs> and, and I worked on getting this hung up outside so you could see it today. And then I never mentioned it. So I'm inserting this little clip here to show you that I got the Hazel's Hat quilt top finished. And here it is. <laughs> okay, here is Hazel's Hat the fusion of Millie's dresses and haberdashery uh, Lori Holt patterns um, just kind of combined them together added and subtracted from their patterns to make up my own configuration here so one big difference is you see the like large stitch um, rows that go across and then the outer border in the Millie's dresses pattern goes all the way to the corners and then there's a little corner design that goes in the corners I decided to not do that it, the math was just not working out after I'd added so much to the to this that it just would not come together quite correctly as the Millie's dresses has it so this is kind of an original <laughs> uh, pattern here in a way um, I'll sh get up a little bit closer and show you what I did in the corners I took one of the lighter prints and just put some corner strips in each corner they're not exactly exactly the same size but pretty close they're within like a half an inch or so of the same size that's as good as I could get it but I think overall it looks looks fine it's a little wrinkled this is Market Street by Heather Peterson the fabric line and also the background as well is a grass cloth of hers so these are all meant to coordinate together 
So there it is. If any of you would like to have the measurements of what I have added and taken away to make this exact same thing, I can get that for you. Send me an email and I will send you a document in my crude pattern writing sort of way <laughs> but the uh, what's different is all of these little sashings are different and then of course this section here is something different uh, and also on the hats the sashing is different a different size and looks like if I remember correctly yes what I had to add here on the end of each row is a different measurement than what the inner sashings are. And then this little edge here that I put all the way around before I added this outer one is very narrow. I think it finishes out at an inch and that is simply because that's all the fabric I had left. So I kind of had to plan according to what was remaining of that piece of fabric. I think I bought four yards and I used just about every inch of it. And then these pickets are the same size as they are in the Millie's dresses. The only difference is, is, is those corners that I mentioned because they didn't work out coming together after I got the middle section done. So there it is, Hazel's hat, finished. At least the quilt top is finished. All right, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that has sent batik blocks. This is about two weeks worth here. Um, I think we're going to have enough to get at least one quilt, maybe one and a half quilts. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to start on that soon, very soon. Um, yes, but I want to say thank you for all the cards and the notes and all the special little things that you put in the the envelopes with your blocks the blocks was all i needed but i'm immensely overjoyed by all of the wonderful things that you say in your letters and cards i really really appreciate it it's really really sweet all of your wonderful people that are participating in this uh so along if you will uh charity project but i want to mention i wasn't going to do this today but as i was going through them i was like how can i not i just i just want to show them all and i want everybody to know how much i really appreciate all of this it put a huge smile on my face every single piece of mail that I got and everything in those pieces of mail. This one, let me get these turned around so I can show you. This one is from Carol and Carol is in Jeffersonville, Indiana here with me. Carol, hit me up. We'll go to lunch sometime. And then she has another one here too. These are Carol's from here in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carol. And then, uh, let's see here, this one is from, let's see, this is Pat from Washington State, and she sends in her finishes sometimes on Friday, so she has a purple and a green with yellow, and she sent a cute little card. And then this one is from Sheila in Wisconsin. I still have not seen any doubles of anything other than some of you have, have sent your own doubles. But between all the people that are participating, I haven't seen anything repeated. Connie from California. Beautiful. This one is Elizabeth from Texas. Here's two from Pam in Maryland. Hi, Pam. 
cool. And then here's one from Colleen from Colleen sent me airmail. This is uh, from Prince Edward Island. Thank you, Colleen. Colleen also has sent in finishes for Friday. These are from, whoops. These are from Susie. From Texas. This one is from Shelly from North Dakota. I like that plaid, plaidy looking one. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one is from Cheryl in Arkansas. Nice aqua. This one's from Linda in Georgia. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you sent two or three, didn't you? I'm not sure, but this is the first one I found. Coral. And then this one, these two are from Laura in Iowa. And let me see if I got them right. These are inverted with her two colors. This one's from Pat from Indiana. We have, here's Linda's other one from Georgia. She sent two separate ones. These are from Joy from Nebraska. And Joy has sent in her um, finishes before. She sent me a nice card too. Love these black background ones there. This one's from Chris from Illinois and she sent me a doggy card. A lot of you sent notes from you and your pet, your doggy and your kitties, which is so sweet. I love that. There's a bunch in this one. These are from Candy in Michigan. I'm just going to show you one by one. She sent a whole bunch. And then these are from... Okay, this is from a group. Uh, these are the Sewer Sisters a Sewing Group. Stephanie, Stephanie, Kim, Sharon, and Donna. This is from Mary. Thank you, Mary, for involving your sewing group. She has them uh, labeled here who did what. This one's one of the Stephanies. And this one is the other Stephanie. And then we have Sharon. Sharon sent two. Isn't that gorgeous? And she inverted hers. And then this one is, these are from Kimberly. Yes, Kimberly had two inverted ones. Very nice. And here's a stack from Susan in Rhode Island. She made a bunch. Oops, that one's upside down. I guess it doesn't matter. Some of you are saying that I should turn them opposite like this so that I don't have to match any of those seams and I might just do that.
Thank you for all of those. And then here's another big packet of them. Becky from Arkansas outdid herself. Make sure I got them all here. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. There's two. And then here's two. She's got her inverted ones. That's kind of good because, um, you know, it's going to give a lot of variety in lights and darks. I like those greens. Sorry if I'm going too fast. <laughs> I just hate not to show all of them. They're all so gorgeous. Washington. I wonder which one that goes with. Brenda from Washington. The, some of those may have been yours that I just showed. I'm not sure. I think my envelope got moved. These ones are Nevada Gale. Bright green. They stick to each other. That's kind of cool because going across you see blue and then you see yellow. I love these bright greens and blues and yellows. These, these ones are from Sharon in California. Sharon, haven't you sent some already? Or am I mistaken? This was cool. Look at that. So cool. And then these ones are from Diane. Diane sent a big a bunch. Let me show you. She has, I think, two uh, of the same ones. Or maybe not. This one's singular. Here's two like this. And then two like this. I think we saw that one before, didn't we? And then there's two like this. And one like this. Two like this. And another one. Two like this. And then I think this is the last one. Jeannie sent a few. She has this one and this one. I like those butterflies on there. This one. This one. And right here is another one. And the last one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have so many and I'm so, so anxious to get started on these. I hope, hope, hope I can do that very soon because we need to, we need to sell a quilt so we can make a big donation, hopefully. Some of you have mentioned raffles. I'm a little apprehensive about raffles because I don't want a lot of people to throw money in knowing that most all of them won't get a return. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like gambling. I, I'm a little bit apprehensive about that, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get it done somehow or another. All right. The email. We have email. We have finishes by all of you. Let's see what we got. I think I missed somebody last week and I told them they would be first this week. Colleen. 
Yes, Colleen has a bag that she did, and this is really cool. Uh, it looks like it's the Nan Nantucket line, and then she's added the green sashing. She says, not a quilt, but I did finish this cute bag. Pattern handles a magnetic snap along with a charm pack were included in the 2023 MSQ Advent Box. Okay. I wasn't crazy about the charm pack included, so substituted one I had. All right. Very nice job. I like that. It's very cute. I love the green and the blues together. Good job. Very useful, too. Helen has a, a couple of here, uh, a dino quilt. She says, here's a double-sized quilt I made from dinosaur novelty fabrics for my four-year-old grandson. He and his daddy love to go through I Spy books. So I cut out each different dinosaur from all the different fabrics and glued each onto cardstock and laminated them. When he's going to bed, they can pull out a few cards to locate images on the quilt and play I Spy. I also made him a dinosaur tote bag because he loves to get a shopping tote and walk around his house shopping for things and putting in the bag. Kids are so much fun, aren't they? In that, in that hoot? That's really cool how you did that. Just made an entire complete game out of it. The I Spy. I didn't, I didn't know that was how you did that. Oh, I bet he loves that bag. <laughs> it looks like you've got him a dinosaur in there, too. Crazy about dinosaurs. And then Helen also sent, uh, uh, she says, Ava Rose's Animals. She says, here's my finished Delightful d Desert by Elizabeth Hartman, which I made for my two-year-old granddaughter, Ava Rose. I can't wait to deliver it to her next week. She probably has it by now. The backing is a nice flannel, so cuddly. I also made her a cute tote bag with bird fabric because we call her Chickadee. Oh, how cute. I made her a new baby doll, a quilt, pillow, and pillowcase. Gotta love grandbabies. Yes. You are spoiling those grandbabies. I bet they love all these things. Becky has a uh, rag rose quilt. She said, uh, this is a, a French roses pattern. Uh, I've done this pattern before. It's pretty neat. You just layer fabrics and you leave the, the edges raw. You just uh, raw edge applique. Uh, and then you wash it and they, they fray and make, make f f frilly edges on the roses. She says, just got this back from the long armor. It's the rag rose quilt. I can't remember the pattern name right now. Yes, French roses. You do the petals in layers and then I snipped around them and the leaves. It's easy but a bit tedious. Yeah, it turned out really cute. I like your colors, your kind of pinks and roses there. Very appropriate. That's a fun quilt to make. I wouldn't mind making one again. She said she uh, got a layer cake and the pattern from a little town called Gold Hill in Oregon. And that is kind of a, a memento from, from her trip there. Uh, Giselle, she says, I finished this quilt top before my carpal tunnel surgery, but now we'll have to wait until I recover to quilt it. But I did finish a pillow to go with it with leftover blocks. It's really hard not being able to sew. Bless your heart, Giselle. Carpal tunnel surgery. You know, maybe that'll, maybe once you get going again, that'll help you to, to heal good too. Keep your hands moving. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I, I would feel very sad if I didn't have my hands to, to quilt or sew with for that long. Um, kind of reminds me of Pat Sloan when she fell on both of her wrists and broke both of her wrists. <laughs> and she couldn't sew for a year. She had to have other people do it. Joy. I told you Joy sends us her finishes. She says, these are my mother's quilts. She just finished the butterflies for her bed. She made this pattern before, but gave the quilt away. I don't know what the pattern is on the multicolored quilt. She's currently working on another quilt. I will send pictures when she's finished. We get together once a month with my aunt Catherine, mom, Arlene, and cousins, Cindy, a new quilter, and Rona Lee, a quilter and crocheter. Good for you. You got a support group, a quilting sewing support group. 
So this is a really cool pattern with the butterflies. So she had to make another one, didn't she? That happens. And then I love this uh, star one down here with the applique on the edges. That is just grand. Looks like she maybe did stitch in the ditch on that and from some really um, maybe puffier uh, batting. It really gives that good 3D effect and matching pillows. Very nice. And that looks like it. If I missed any one, let me know. Uh, send it again or whatever you have to do to get my attention. <laughs> uh, apologize when I miss people. Sometimes they just come in. They just slide in right after I've got the video made. So you have to wait a whole, whole week. But I have to make the video ahead of time so that it comes out early on Friday for you. All right, I think that's all I have. I think that's plenty. That was a lot to absorb, wasn't it? Thanks again for all the Blues Batik blocks. We're going to get going on that quilt really soon. And I believe that's that's it. I um, The Sew Sampler box is getting ready to come out. I'll probably talk about this more on Monday. But uh, that's going to yield a new project. And so I'm thinking about getting my Barn Star and Happy Days fully finished before I start on that um, yeah I hope I could resist I'll talk about that more on Monday in the meantime have a great weekend get something out to sew sew a little bit every day and before long you'll have a finished item to send here on finish it Friday all right have a great weekend I'll see you soon bye